I've run into Michael Johnson of Appler, and uh, I've heard a lot of great stuff about this application and website service, and I'd like to have you tell us about it. Yeah, so uh, Appler, it's uh, at getappler.com, G-E-T-A-P-P-L-R. It's a website, uh, so it's a web app. It's not something that you download, so you can just go there and visit it right away. Uh, but what it is is uh, social app discovery. So, Wait, iTunes is perfect for, so for app discovery, isn't it? Uh, you know what? It really isn't, actually. <laughs> and, and I, I and many other people have realized this over the years. You know, you look at the homepage of iTunes, and it's a lot of stuff that isn't relevant to a lot of people. Certainly, so not newest and most downloaded—that isn't the way we should find our apps. No, I don't think so. Honestly, uh, most of the great apps that I found, almost all the ones that I use on a daily basis. I found because my friends told me about them. Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely right. And and so when I created this thing, I wanted to take that social experience that uh, of, of finding apps from my friends or recommending apps to my friends because you know when you find something cool, you're like, oh man, I know this one person who would love this, or I know everybody would love this, and it's always fun to to let people know. So I wanted to take that experience uh, and and turn it into a, a social network for people to enjoy online in mass. So this is iOS specific. How does it work? Uh, so you go to uh, getappler.com, you sign up, and what happens is it, it walks you through a, a couple step process of uh, pulling in all the apps that you've ever purchased. And then you can go through with one click on each one, you can give it essentially a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whether you would recommend it to somebody or whether you wouldn't. And then optionally leaving a little review. It doesn't have to be very long. And a lot of times you don't have to leave a review at all because, you know, it's it's just something pretty quick and easy. You you like it. So it's just like or don't like, not a five star or anything like that? Exactly. Yeah, I found that the, the star ratings were... Um, Everybody gives one or five anyway. Yeah, they're, they're too arbitrary if you're, if you're doing anything but one or five. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So uh, you mentioned being able to see what apps I have on my phone. We talked a little bit about this earlier. How does that work? Yeah, so what you do is you uh, can sign in with your Apple ID and password, and we don't save that information on the servers or anywhere. Uh, and if you don't want to do that, if you're not comfortable with that, you can, of course, not do that and find the apps uh, individually. But if you are comfortable with doing that, it's great because it just shows them all to you right there. You, you know, click yes, no on all of them. And then you can start following the people that you uh, either know about or are friends with in real life and get those applications, uh, the recommendations from them in your activity feed. It's kind of like Twitter. You've, it's a follow model and then you, you get an aggregate feed of all those people you follow. Okay, so like if I am uh, find that Paul Shadwell always likes the same kind of apps that I like, I would uh, follow him and then I could see what kind of stuff he thought was cool. Exactly, and so not only do you get that activity feed, so the you know, minute by minute of what people are recommending, but it also takes an aggregate of all that stuff and creates your own uh, top apps that you should check out, sort of like what iTunes does, but based on uh, what you have interest in. But not only that, because it knows the apps that you already have, it just subtracts those from the top apps because you don't want to be looking at something that you already have. But it would figure out, for example, I like utilities and I don't care about games. It wouldn't show me a bunch of games. Well, exactly. Yeah, you can filter down in any any uh, position that you want. So if you're on the activity page or if you're on a person's specific profile page or, or looking at someone's entire app library, you can always filter down to the stuff that you want to see. So if you only want to see stuff that's f uh, free utility for your iPad, then you can just punch those things in and then you'll only see that. Oh, that sounds fantastic. So is there any cost to the user for this? Absolutely not. It's totally free and uh, you can go there and check it out on your phone or on your uh, computer. It works either way or, or on your iPad. It has optimized versions uh, on all those devices and it's uh, getappler.com. So uh, to be specific, it's iOS though you can access the iOS apps through your Mac. Correct, yes. You can go on your Mac and look at the iOS apps. We want to do uh, Mac apps coming soon. It's uh, It'll be a pretty easy process for us because it's essentially the same, same feature. store. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. All right, great. Thank you very much, Michael. This, is, uh, this has been a lot of fun. Let's check it out at getappler.com. Thank you.